Hey everyone, welcome back to Garner Reviews. Today we are taking a look at Purdy, Purdy Pro Backpack. This thing is pretty awesome. If you were uh, into doing any sort of painting, anything like that, and you need some awesome organization for all of your painting tools, look no further. I was really impressed. This is a very nice backpack. Um, Purdy claims that this was you know, designed by pros and uh, whether that's true or not, it certainly appears that way. So uh, I just wanted to walk you guys through and uh, maybe show off some of the features and what this thing looks like. Um, but so far I'm very impressed and I will be loading this up with a bunch of painting equipment in here in the very, very near future. So uh, to kind of start out you here, you'll see this bag. Um, this is a wet brush roller pouch. So it's actually designed, if you open this up, it's got a nice, um, I'm not sure if this is like a PVC interior or something like that though, but it looks like it's definitely a very durable and washable. So you get done at the end of the day, let's say you got a wet brush, instead of having to wash it there at the customer's uh, house or something like that, you can stick your stuff in here, get it home or get it um, off site and then get it clean. And then obviously you can wipe this pouch out, spray it out, whatever you need to do. Um, one nice feature with this pouch here is um, this is just locked on. This is almost like molly webbing on the front here. So you can just take this pouch off, um, get it nice and clean in your sink, whatever you need to do. Um, and then obviously you can clip it back on or if you don't want it right now, you have all this nice, um, this is again, a lot like molly webbing um, style system here on the front. So you got that, you got some nice little clips here. Kind of hold this nice and tight. You could fit um, some different tools inside this pouch inside there. Uh, you got a nice Velcro um, section here. If you want to put, maybe you want to get a, uh, like a Velcro display of your company name or something like that, you could definitely do it or just kind of label your backpack. Be kind of neat. Um, so those will cinch down very nice. Uh, next pouch up is this one here. Open this up. Oh, man, there, there we go. Um, very nice organization. Hopefully you guys can see this good. So you got like a spot here, you can put some uh, paper, uh, notepads, anything like that. You got a little a lanyard here with a clip, uh, keep things safe. Uh, you got two smaller pocket sections there, some spots for pencils, and then you have a, um, a webbed pocket here with a zipper. You can put some loose stuff in there. Um, plenty, of, plenty of room there. Very nice. I really do like these zippers, especially the zipper pulls. Those are kind of nice, um, overbuilt. It's like a plastic with a rubber, rubber, yeah, maybe it's rubber. Some sort of overmold there. Set that back up. The front here, got a nice soft pouch. So the back of it isn't, but the front side here is like a nice, almost like a soft microfiber ish pouch there you could probably put your phone or something like that in there and keep it nice and safe next this is the big pocket now one of the things i really like about these next two pockets is the zippers run all the way down to the bottom so you can let this flip all the way open like that and so you can keep it nice and open like that if you needed to um, really get you know everything opened up and displayed so first one you're going to see here uh, they've got like a spot for all of your brushes. So you have all these nice little slots. You could pack in a bunch in here, different sizes, whatever you need. Goes right there. This side, they've got this little marker here for um, like scrapers, spatulas, whatever you want to call them, um, putty knives. All that can go in there. Uh, you got six different slots there, different sizes. Um, really nice. So you can kind of keep all your prep style stuff there, and then obviously brushes. Okay, back up and over. And these bigger, these zippers here on these next two pockets are really nice. They're big, they look really heavy duty. You got the nice uh, pull tabs, and then they do have like a little spot here. If you needed to, uh, you could run like a little miniature lock in there if you needed to do that for some reason. Um, next pocket, same thing. Unzips all the way down, opens up. Look at that, so much room. So first off, you've got a spot here for your roller cages. Um, 
you can put the handle inside here and then they've got these elastic tabs to kind of stick it in there and hold everything nice and tight. And then there's two more up here. So you can fit a couple of roller cages in there probably pretty easy. You got two big oversized pockets on the sides. Uh, you could probably fit things like actual rollers in there, um, whatever else you need to. And then you're gonna see this, you have a nice USB cord and a zipper pocket here. So you could stick a power, like a power bank in there, plug it in, and then that runs and routes out to the side where you've got an additional spot here for USB. So you can plug in, so you can have like a place to store the power bank. And then if you need to charge your device, plug it in directly. It's right there. You don't have to bumble it with it inside the backpack. Very cool. Um, so we'll go back to this main pocket here. So that's what that looks like here on the flip side. Spot for all of your um, rollers. Uh, got four here. They got two additional big pockets here. Maybe you put some mini ones in there. Um, plenty of plenty of room there. Plus, just the overall size and depth of this pocket means they can probably utilize all that organization and then still stuff stuff in here. So if you needed extra things, sanding pads, whatever, um, you could do that as well. So that's that. Last pocket inside the big compartment. Okay, and then on the back side here, you're gonna see you got one more additional pocket. Now this actually almost looks like this is um, designed to be kind of weather resistant, this pocket here. It's got like an extra lip on the edge there. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably waterproof, but weather resistant. And this is a very nice um, fully lined pocket. So definitely if you have like a device or something that you want to keep uh, protected and not scratched up, throw it in there and it's going to stay nice and safe. So zips up very nice and tight. Um, handle, very nice, comfortable. And they've got this cable reinforcement running through there. So um, I guess to help with the weight, pretty neat idea. Uh, so that's that. Okay, we'll move to the side next. This side here, you got some more of the kind of like molly style webbing, put whatever you want there. And then you got a pocket here, nice and tight uh, for things like extension poles. Uh, you probably could fit like two of them there, maybe like a two to four footer and like a four to eight, something like that. Um, or maybe you have like a long uh, roller cage stick in there. This side, you got one large pocket here that zips all the way down and around. So this flaps all the way open. Very nice. You got a couple of smaller pouches here. You could probably put like things like wallet, loose change, things like that um, in here. And then it does have a spot where if you wanted to set a device and you got like a headphone port thingy there, punch through. Um, so you can utilize that. And then like a elastic piece here for water bottles or whatever else I guess you want in there. So that is the backpack, the straps, got some of that kind of additional Molly saw webbing running down the front there. Um, very nice, you got a little clip here, I guess if you want to put keys on. Uh, you do have a chest strap, very adjustable. And then uh, got some good padding here too, let me undo this. Very nice padding along here, creates an air channel, help with uh, sweaty backs, right? You got some nice padding though, that's gonna help a lot. Uh, these straps actually feel pretty nice. They don't feel overly padded, but you can definitely feel there's some padding in there. Very nice. Uh, look very durable too. So, um, and then you got some nice little pull tabs there for adjusting the length. You can just pull right there and then to release, obviously, just pull up on that piece here so very cool and then of course a waist got it all dusty waistband pretty pretty straightforward there clips on um, you do have some nice heavy duty feet on the bottom here These are big plastic hard plastic rubber something keep everything up and off the ground so even if you have that kind of a damp surface you can set this down and it's probably not going to soak up through the base of the backpack so um, very, very nice overall uh, design. Like I said, if you are doing painting or you do it enough that you got a bunch of the tools laying around, just being able to organize everything and have everything handy, ready to go, I mean, that makes this thing really, really valuable. The more organized um, 
they're just the better off you are. And I'm starting to realize that more and more, um, the more I can do ahead of time to be organized and make sure I've got all my tools in one spot so I'm not running around or forgetting stuff the day of, the better off I am. So pretty, it's a very nice, very well designed, thought out um, backpack. If you guys wanna check these out, I think these are at uh, Sherwin. And then they may be coming to, I think Lowe's online and maybe um, Ace Hardware online. So you guys can just look on the Purdy website though and they'll show you where to uh, purchase all that good stuff. So um, pretty well priced too. And uh, actually at the time I purchased this, this was from Sherwin and they were running a really nice special. So if you bought that backpack at the full price, um, they were gonna throw in a bunch of Purdy um, products for a discount. So. Um, made that a really easy sale because obviously it's always nice having extra brushes, rollers, cages, you know, spatula scrapers, all that good stuff. So, uh, I'm going to get a bunch of my stuff. I'm going to load it up in here and I'll do another video on that just to kind of show you guys what this looks like all loaded up. But again, Purdy this is the pro backpack. I think is what they're calling it. Um, very nice. Very, very nice. It's always cool to see more organization for uh, the trades coming out. If you guys have any questions, any comments, anything you would like to see about this, um, or maybe you guys have one of these and you've been rocking it, please let me know down in the comment section down below. I love hearing all that kind of stuff and uh, learning with you guys. So, it's Garner Reviews. I will catch you guys in the next one.